Hi, it's Jess here from nigessa.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today on the first Saturday of February. So that means it is the Project Share blog hop. And our theme this month is celebration. So I was deciding what to make and I had made this card for a um, new team member because there's a joining offer um, in um during celebration and so I'd use the celebration um, marvellous uh, simply marvellous paper on this and done a little strip on the inside and yes I've put welcome to the team on it but I could easily change that and when I was making it I hadn't decided what I was going to decorate around and then I realised I haven't used these stitched um, blooms very much um, so I um I got it out to use and then I realized there was a stitched label in that so I'm going to remake this uh, but I'm going to use that that was a stitched rectangle I'm going to use this label and I'm going to change um the sentiment um to it so this is the pierced blooms die and they do have a stamp set so this is a bundle in the annual catalog um, so this is um, the stamp set that goes with it um, and it's a, a sort of a complementary one as opposed to stamp these and cut them out. They don't quite work that way. Um, and the label um, you can use with these um, sentiments and I quite like that. Congrats, you're so fancy now. I think that's quite cool. Um, but um oh the happy birthday doesn't cut out the congrats does you are amazing does which would fit for james um you mean so much to me it would also fit it's quite small but i quite like the idea of putting something else but i can't use that happy birthday do not fit in um, but the others do so i might use a sentiment from um a celebration stamp set i've got two celebration stamp sets i've got i've got the hello friend and oh that would that would just fit in there just but the uh hope you have the best birthday fits that's lovely i could do it that way around no, it will fit that way around and then you can put some whatever, whatever, what have you, um, um, around that. So I could use a sentiment for that. I've just bought, um, just bought, it was free. I just got this. You could put driving by to say hi. And I did think that I'm going to make a version like that and I'm going to make a version with the um, driving by. So it's a bit more masculine, so I'm going to use the cars. Um, but I'd probably still make it a birthday card as opposed to driving by just to say hi, to be fair. OK, so let's just stop the waffle and um, get on with it. I'm going to use this paper, though. I like it. All right, so I've got my papers out, I'm signing on the colours. I don't have enough pink, actually. I've just got, I've used the pink quite a bit in um, recently. Um, obviously, I don't want to make it in that same colour. Um, so that's my favourite. I think a nice um, girly purple one will be lovely. Yellow's not my favourite colour, so not going for yellow. Um, so then for the masculine one, I could go for black, the, the sort of the grey or the bluey colour. I think I might go for the bluey colour. I've recently done a project with the grey, so I'm going to go with the blue. So, obviously that is gorgeous grape and Highland Heather. I know that, so I can get those out. I have to remind myself, I think it's Misty Moonlight and Balmy Blue, isn't it? Uh, balmy blue. <laughs> do, 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 do. Bum, bum. Misty moonlight. Yeah, that's what it is. So I'm going to get those cards ready. Okay, so I've got my card bases and my mats, and I've got a few bits of scraps here that that coordinate. So with this one, I thought I'd go for the gorgeous grape 
um, background. It's going to have a white mat um, in between. So I think that looks good. I might change the side. I think if I was going that way, I would have gone for Highland Heather. Um, but I think I'm going to do this side of it just, just to see a difference. Okay. And then for the masculine one, I think if I'm going this side, that it doesn't work with Misty Moonlight. It works with Misty Moonlight on that side. But if I'm going this side, it's going to have to be Balmy Blue, I think. So... I've not really made my mind up, to be fair. It depends how it looks with the car as to whether or not I want to do the car out of this DSP. And I kind of thought that might look like a shiny new car. So it would be misty moonlight, I think, if we do it that way, as opposed to balmy blue. It would work with balmy blue as well, but... I quite like it like that so that is where i'm coming from so i've cut four mats so i've got one for the outside and one for the inside and there will be a strip left over for going on the inside which i think is cool so i've cut four of those and whatever i do here will be cut out of this one because once dsp is on top of it you won't see it so that's my little my little saver there so these are my normal sizes i just need to cut this paper down now to the right size so my trimmer is marked up with where they need to be so um, i've already cut the three and seven eighths that's the whisper white so now we go to three and five eighths that is going to be the mat size the second mat size and then it's five and three eighths that way so that is the mat size there if I get my card blank that goes on there nicely And then that goes on there and I've now cut that to the wrong size but I've got enough of that to do a little strip on the inside with that if I choose to on this one and now I'm going to cut my my this in the same way I'm going to cut that side first that gives me a strip for the inside I cut it to the wrong size I've now got two long strips that might look nice on the inside there we go that's lapse of concentration it's never a good thing so I've now got that for my card. Where's my mats? So that's going to go on there. That's going to go on there. And then actually that might look quite nice on the inside. I could put... I could, I could do something like that on the inside. That's quite nice. See, sometimes... It's not a mistake. It's a chance to innovate. So that's that. That's that. So that's the easy bit. Um, if we do the flower first. So I, I then die cut out of the corresponding cardstock. Um, so I've got... Some scraps here from my scrap box so we we're, we're going to take doo -doo -doo -doo. so we took this big one so 
So I'm going to do these in um, the flowers in gorgeous grape. I think they're quite cool. And then we're going to do the leaves. And we've got two leaves and they go in different directions. So we've got one that goes up and one that goes down. So we're going to cut those out. That fits in there quite nicely. And then I cut two this size to do coming out the other end. Oh, they'll go nicely on my little strip there. And then we need some white circles in the middle. Now, when you cut them out, you cut two. And so I got some spare from last time. So I don't need to cut them out again because they cut them out in pairs. And so I keep them. So I only need one of each last time. So I've got them for this. So I don't need, don't need to worry about that one. So we're going to cut them out. And then I want to do a little sentiment on here. Getting a bit messy. Um, to die cut that out. And so I'm going to do the hope you have. best birthday I'm thinking because you're gonna cover some of the sentiment up with the flowers so you want a bit of a space around it so I think that will be cool fit nicely in there I think that will be that'll be cool so we need to stamp that And so I'm going to stamp it in gorgeous grape. So it's photopolymer. I'm going to use my stamp mat. That's going on the inside, in the middle. Yay! And then that's going to get cut out. And you're not going to see it when it's stuck on there, so it doesn't matter. So I'm going to get all of those cut out. Okay, so that's all the die cutting done. I did stamp this. I did think, thought that I'd pressed record, but I hadn't. So you didn't see it, but it was exactly the same. So that's ready for laters. So this is, I'm basically just going to follow exactly the same as that on here. So the, the holes under there, that's on top. That's all going to get stuck together. What I did here was I stuck it all together and then put it up on dimensionals. So I'll show you that bit and then we'll speed everything else up because everything else is stuck flat. So just going to do love the richness that this looks. It just looks like silk, doesn't it? I think silk or satin I think it's lovely I like it just get that's a really really filthy one now probably need to change it there we go and then what I did was put a bit of put a bit of glue on there and stuck that on there and then put a bit of glue there and stuck that along there to give me a little bit of a corner which would be stuck like so and then oh it would be I give it a chance to stick and then I got my mini dimensionals and then I stuck dimensionals all over the back of this ready to pop up so this was the bit that was popped up and everything else thought for a moment then I'd done these the wrong way around but I haven't 
So mini dimensionals are good. They fit in the leaves quite nicely. Okay, I could use this paper every day. I know some people don't like it. Somebody I'm quite close to doesn't like it. I don't understand it. I think it's gorgeous. There we go. So that's what I do for that. And when, then when all this is stuck down, that's going to go on the corner there. So I'm going to speed it all up whilst I stick it all down. So there it is, there it is done. And you can see the difference between having this side and that side. And I guess it's down to personal preference, which you like. I do like having that little more ornate um, label there instead of the stitched rectangle. And um, I love that little touch on the inside. So on that one, I took a bit off that. But I cut the six by six slightly differently and I got I got that and oh, I should have stuck that the other way around and then it would have flowed Burke. never mind that'll do pretty so now the other one the the masculine one what I want to do is on this spare bit I'm gonna stamp the car I'm gonna go for the racing car I think that will look cool. I'm going to stamp it in misty moonlight, I think. Not sure about the balloons. I don't think I want them. But I'll stamp them anyway. I'm just trying to think what, where it would have a nice blue for the bodywork. I think down there. I think that is quite nice. Now I have got one I made earlier and I cut it out on my scan and cut. So I'm going to paper piece, paper piece onto that. So I'm going to, I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to do this myself rather than run downstairs because I got my scan and cut out yesterday and although Ed is not working from home today and he wasn't yesterday and I knew I wanted to use it today, he has put it away. Does me boxing. I shouldn't moan. Some men don't do any housework or any clearing up, do they? But um, Ed's a bit bit of a neat freak and I'm not you can't you can't even bear to come in my craft room because it's not very ordered <laughs> it's complete chaos but it's it works for me and um so he can't even bear to to walk in it I suppose if you're slightly OCD he says he's not but he is um I can see why it would um possibly cause you a bit of trauma. Now I'm just going to cut straight across the bumper. I'm going to, I'll cut it out after. I'm going to cut straight across the wheel and I'm going to cut that properly after. Likewise here. So 
So now we can go in and cut that little bit there out. And I can honestly say that I might have been quicker on my scale and cut because it really doesn't take that long. So that gets stuck on there. How cool is that? I think that's quite cool. Um, obviously, I'm going to colour the wheels and things. But I thought I'd have that on there. We'd have a wee car there. And I thought I've got a stack of presents from the top of our little beetle there. And I thought I could colour them and they could go as if they were in the boot of the car. Like so. And I thought it might be quite nice. I did cut these balloons out. And I thought they might be quite nice tucked under there. That was what I was thinking. And I've got blue ones there. I might cut these blue out and stick them on. Are you trying to kid, Jess? Are you trying to kid? I'm going to colour it. I'm going to colour it. So we need to do a little bit of colouring on here so I want sort of grey and black and I had the pens out goodness only knows where I've put them there they are there's my pens so here's the grey and there the black so I'm gonna what have we got here a light black so that's going to be the wheels. Well, the tyres. And then we've got a light smoky slate. I don't want that side. Run around this bit. And I might do the bumpers. That's what I think they are. That might be the headlights, won't it? It's going grey anyway, whatever it is. And then we've got dark smoky slate to go in the middle. Like so. A little bit on the window pane. I've got a little bit of pool party here. As if it's window. And then I can glue that on. And that's my little car. How cute's that? I think it's cute. So and because I'm sticking it on to some card, so that's basic white cardstock I can pop it up because it'll be quite firm won't be like it's a can run in that corner so it won't be like it's um, a bit of DSP it should stay up. 
And how cool does that car look? So it looks a little bit like a nice shiny new car, as if I'd coloured it. But I haven't, you know, using the blends. I like that. I like it a lot. So that'll be nice. So we need thinking about the presents and my balloons. I'm gonna have to use Stampin' Right markers because I haven't got Barney Blue in blends. So and then And I might take a bit of Wink Costello and a little bling. So that's the balloons. Yeah, liking the look of that. So now we need to colour in our presents. And what I might do is take a bit, a bit of Mr. Moonlight and a bit of Barmy Blue and colour them with the Wink of Stella. Is that Barmy Blue? It's Pool Party. Well, that's a good job I checked. That's Barmy Blue. I'm not putting them back. Be here forever. Here we go. Bit balmy blue. Didn't look like much came out there. But it did. Right. Wink of Stella. I'm going to wink of Stella on the window. And I might wink of Stella on the bits that are metal, like the hubcaps. I think that'll be quite cool. And blow. Right, so pick up a bit of that. And then we'll take some misty moonlight. Could have done them stripy a bit a bit more stripy really. Slightly dark and light there. Yep, I think that's going to work. Put a scrap there, take the colour off. That'll do. So now I just need to stick this together. So I'm going to tidy up a bit. So there we are, all ready to stick down. I quite like the look of that. There's a bit of me think there's quite a lot of space there. But I quite like it. Or well, I could. I could chop this a tad because I do think it's quite a large space. Okay, I've had a thought because I did think it was a bit much. If I'm using, if I use the stitch rectangles, cut the biggest one out of that for a mat, cut that down to five and a half, and then that will mat nicely on that. Cut myself a frame using the next the next one down, missing one, going down. So I've got a thicker frame and I turn the paper round. So I've got the opposite. I think that might look nice. Do you understand what I'm saying? So cut that out like that and then turn it over and cut that one out with that and then this becomes a frame around that they were my thoughts or oh, i could put the lighter one on the inside and the darker one on the outside oh, do you know too many decisions no i think i'm going to stick with the way the way i'm thinking so i'm going to get that, that, and that. 
die cut out. I think that will look good. So there we are. So I cut the mats down as well. Um, I cut this down to five and a half because it's a better, it's more in proportion. So I did the stitched for the inside as well. And then that little bit now will actually go inside the stitch line really nicely. It's as if it was meant to be. So we have our stitched layer. We have the frame. So I turned it round. So we've got a frame there. We have our inside frame. Like so. Could have put it the other way around. No, I'm going back to my original idea. It means then the stitching's the right way around. The stitch on the inside of this frame, the stitching is like the wrong side of the die, but I don't think it matters. Don't think it matters at all. That's going to be like that. We've got our happy birthday sentiment there. We've got our little shiny balloons to tuck behind. We've got our little car there that will go over the frame a little bit. Got our presents. And I think now it doesn't feel like there's so much space because I've filled the space by adding a frame. I prefer that. So I'm going to get them all stuck down. I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals. Um, so like I did before with the flower, I think I'll glue the present to that and then I'll stick that up on dimensionals and stick everything else down flat. So there it is, finished. I love it when I kind of change my mind and uh, come up with something different. And um, yeah, I think that works really, really well. So I've got the same idea taken from my welcome to the team, turned it into a birthday card and then changed it up a little bit. It's a bit like that's what casing is i've taken the idea changed it completely different so we've got a male and female version there using this beautiful paper and then i pulled out and i thought oh do i need shall i finish it off with a bit of bling i remembered these lovely um blue blue dots which i think go perfectly with that and i've got some um gorgeous grape um there i thought i could just bling it up a bit and I might even add these little paler blue ones to that one. Why not? Shall I push the boat out? Bung a few of these on. So. Put one up there. One over there. One down there rate myself a bit of a visual triangle liking that just to just to just to add to it so there we have them hope you like that all the details will be um down below take you to my blog there's shop links down below and um do go and uh, check out what Verity, Heather and Jill have made with their celebration goodies as well. So I've used three, haven't I? So I've got stamp set there, stamp set from the Friendly Hello and the DSP. They were all free. Obviously, I've used the in bloom, the stitch bloom here that's different, but 
yeah hope you like that and um yeah two cards you've got today you lucky people <laughs> okay see you again soon bye